True justice in action. When a beautiful young lady ridicules your disfigurement, disfigurement, you murdered her in cold blood for your. Vanity and pride, you You'll will pay. pay. Any last yeah. words before the new? That ugly bitch deserved what she got.
Welcome back. Got some bills to pay, huh? How do you do, sir? Goodbye. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our disco boys are coming! Make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Now, good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. What are you doing? Try not to kill anybody. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, boys are so silly. Mr. Fire away. Ready? Aim. Fire. Sir? Stand on one leg! Me too! 
You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I... Excellent. Fine shooting. Oh. Now mine. Should have been on the stage. Hey, get up. Well, I'll be good what enough if I don't move. You're interrupting my beauty rest. that imbue our daily existence with their piquant torture. Sure, we can have fire. And we can have the knowledge of fire. But with that comes the knowledge of everything. We become like a god. Because to be all-powerful is to be all-suffering. Yes. Thus, Prometheus gave us light and warmth and eternal of our isolation for everything holy. Quite the conundrum fire. Hmm? Easy, boy. It's enough to make that a man drink. Okay, take it enough. easy. Or worse. Yeah! Interested in a little friendly competition? You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Oh. Why don't we find out? Good! <laughs> Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right, stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Okay, go. Happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. 
How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go. You got a damn good shot, mister. Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Nice shooting. Guess I just had the edge in the end. Yeah, right. Enjoy your win while it lasts. Arthur, come lend a hand here. Let's get that for a while. Go ahead and call your mom. You might want to quit here. that. That drunk's got mean friends, believe me. Oh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. I appreciate it, Arthur. There's no sense of humor, the fellers around here. Hard How drunk day, were you? Just normal drunk. Yeah, anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll be at camp if you need me. <laughs> I ain't even shot. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Get up there. Good to have you back, mister. And what do you want? Getting so a man can't get a goddamn break in this town no more. Not a damn one. Don't drink it too fast. You looking for a repeat? You're... You're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die the slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well, them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. I don't know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Well, that's hard, partner. I might risk the last minute feeling. Very sleepy all of a sudden.
Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> mm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. You okay?
Got the nerve to put a bullet in me? Cause you better. Idiot. You're coming with me. Good God! So while you're here... Ah, shit! What in the... Well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. Here, I got him. You're wonderful, it's just wonderful. Come on, don't be shy now, let's go. Well, please, take a seat. Your seat is here? <laughs> Lost your way, country man? <laughs> Got big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! Hi there. Come on in. So what'll it be today? Don't move. Let's get those hands up nice and high. <laughs> Works every time. This is, uh, very kind of you.
Could be damn near anyone. Look sharp. I want this place turned over from top to bottom. I don't need this. Definitely. You're fine. Group back on me. Hold on a second. Let's let's you and me have a chat. Save me. What's your reason for being around here? I'm just passing through. Fine then. Get going. Buenas tardes. Why don't you walk along and forget what you saw, okay? All right. Guess I'll just listen for the explosion. Hey, we say it's scram. What do we say, huh? <laughs> You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. Breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Excuse oh, God, help me! Help! To make you lose sleep. No, it can't Can be! How the hell with it? Too much for me. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his well, own good fortune. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hurricanes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh... Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Monsieur? You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Ah! Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir! <laughs> In the time of my life, <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show! <laughs> That's wonderful! <laughs> ah, look! There's your friend! 
not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not... Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it!
Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. <laughs> So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Call. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. Shit! Shit! I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done? Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know... You need a ride, sir. Climb up the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. Please, put us out of our misery. Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. What are you fools doing? Try not to kill anybody. Come on. Now aim that over here. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we're waiting for you, mister. Fire away. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. <laughs> Nothing to fear at all. My turn. Stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Ready? Aim. Fire. Sir? Why? I must be the bravest man I know. Shoot mine. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Uh, for all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Mm. Why, too much. Nope, my sweet. Sailor. 
Hey, I'm looking for Boy Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Well, this time, Mr. Calloway. We're usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you quit, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I... If we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me! What a way with words. Uh, damn you, Zero Eleven! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. You can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove... Nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. <laughs> maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk, and you're bored, yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Got short chance, Howdy, mister. 